Hey everyone, wanted to do a quick thoughts video on the game Contra Operation Galuga, which we recently played on this Let's Play channel and on Twitch. I was interested in this game because I first saw it in a Nintendo Indie Direct or a Nintendo Direct. It was one of those games that was at the end of the showcase, just kind of got like a few seconds. And I thought it looked pretty good as someone who played Contra about 15 years ago. But the biggest negative with the game is how expensive it is, as I'm pretty sure it's about 40 US dollars compared to about 53 Canadian dollars. But I was able to get a key for free from Keymailer, and well, let's give you my quick thoughts on Contra Operation Galuga, as someone who's never fully beat a Contra game. First and foremost, I will say, it's a hard game, most definitely a very challenging game if you're into that type of thing. But with that challenge, it also is very short. I beat the game in about three hours or so as it's only eight chapters long, and there's not really much replayability. They do have an arcade mode and a harder difficulty if you want to make it a lot harder, but I didn't really feel the need to make it a lot harder. Sorry if I was a little quiet there, but overall Contra Operation Galuga was fun. The combat was great. Well, but not really much combat, but the shooting was great. The different characters were great. They were all kind of the same three health total or one health if you're into, you know, taking one hit and then dying minus one character. The weapon upgrades were fun. It was a little annoying dying and then going back five minutes, but overall, the levels aren't that long. And if you play the game perfectly, you could probably beat all the levels in about an hour. If you're really into Contra, then you could probably beat this game very, very fast. If you're like me and have never played Contra before, it'll probably take you a few hours, but once you get the gist of it, you'll start flying right through it. All the weapons were really fun. My favorite one was the laser. I liked playing as Bill, just nice and simple. Story was a little eh, like the cutscenes in between the story was kind of meh to me. But overall, I thought the game was very well done. And just the price point is the biggest negative with this game. With how short it is, I feel like 25 US dollars and that's max is a justifiable price for this, even if you're a diehard Contra fan. I'd say wait for a sale. But the core gameplay is very much Contra, you know, shoot 'em ups type of game. You just walk forward and you just shoot a bunch of enemies it's really fun you shoot through walls there's a good good amount of different enemy variety i will say i didn't expect the type of enemies that i saw towards the end game i didn't realize how weird contra got but overall i liked the game and it was a very good time for three hours but i would not pay full price for it and i'm sorry if that offends any contra fans but it's just 40 US dollars is too much for a game like this if you're only going for a one playthrough. If you're trying to do everything, then we'll have fun with it. You probably already bought the game. But yeah, those are my thoughts quickly on Contra Operation Galuga. It was a very good game though, and I'm happy I played it. Thanks for watching. If you ever, if you ever want to watch me play games live, I messed up a little bit there. If you want to watch me play games live, you can watch on twitch.tv forward slash burr. We play games about five days a week over there. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.